Hello, and welcome back to Fabric. In glorious 45 to 50 frames a second. Sweet! In glorious 400 frames a second. Sweeter! So I'm back in the level, the, the last level. I checked just to make sure it's been quite a long time since I played. But I checked just to make sure that there wasn't anything else I wanted to like redo and recomplete and make sure I got the right way. I think I got pretty much everything. So it was just this box level that we need to do, and oh no, the frame rate. Okay, I'll get used to it. But yeah, so we just want to try, I want to try, and actually figure out how to do this without doing any crazy stuff like dropping off things and falling onto other things, and I don't even know. I doubt you're supposed to do that stuff, so we'll just see. Like... Here, I couldn't really do much yet with that yellow block. Like, from here, sure, I could fall up there onto the red block, but again, like, that's clearly something you're not really intended to do. So, the only way we can go at the start here is to this face. As far as I can see, that's the only thing to do. And then from here... That is in line. We could drop down like that. If we could... There, and then you would go on this face. Oh man, you can do that, but I wonder. I wonder. I don't know. Maybe? Maybe. It's an alternative. And I can't do this because I'm in the, the bending area. So that doesn't work. I can... Right, so I was standing on here. So I could bend up here and land... Yeah, that... That would be fine. Because otherwise... We could bend... Down this way and land on this side. Or we can bend up and land here, as I said. So, let's start by doing the most obvious one, which is just falling down here and seeing what that does which just let us lets us like what the hell that just lets us go up here which we could already do it's a bit odd and yeah here's this part again where I can fall up like this but I don't know if that would help me I guess I'm now like on the other side Oh, yeah, look at this. This is something new. I haven't done this before. Do we have a yellow block here? I'm just curious, where does this take me? If I go on to this one... Oh, boy. Frame rate, please. Um... Oh, this is how you get to the exit. And, yeah, that's, like... The legit way. I'm pretty sure I did the legit way last time. Yeah, I would just do this and then fall in here again. Not sure why I'm doing it, because I don't need to do it right now, but yeah, there's the exit for when we unlock it. Um, I can just, instead of having to restart, I can do this and then fall down here and every... No. I cannot do that. Never mind, we'll just redo it from the start. That's fine. So I guess I should just do sort of obvious things. Because that seems to be what the game is looking for. So again, we'll do... What was it? That. Fall down. And then we'll just go right here. So where is the opening again? I, I need to use the map for a second. It's right there. Right, above the green block. Yeah, okay, so that's... Yeah, I, I guess I was very close. So we just need to now stand here and use this one, which surely that must be intended, because he's had some pretty crazy, like, pinpoint gravity switches before. And then, obviously, just switch up here. And this one was a lot easier than it seems, so I just do... Which side was it? I'm gonna use the camera again. Holy fuck. Sorry about this. This side. 
Yeah, that's the one. So it's on the right here. God, that's terrible. So I want to go to this side to begin with. Like that. Because now we can just walk up here and then fall down. Which is very, very simple. It took me way too long to figure out before. So like that, and now we want to go out, and that was this side. Nope. That way. So yeah, this is pretty simple stuff so far. Now we need to get back. So how do we get back? Just fall up here? Because that's an obvious thing. And now we're just back here. Yeah, okay. So now we can just go to the exit using the method that I did before. Where you go... Nope. This way. And then you go under. And then flip up. Holy shit. Okay, no. I, I was actually on solid ground. It just looked like I landed right on the edge. And then flip up here. Walk around. Bend these together. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is what you're meant to do. This is like the... the correct route. Not sure what's up with these red blocks, though. Probably just... decoys, yet again. Yeah. Cool. Great. Level complete. And I don't feel like a dirty scumbag. I did it. Did I read the log here? I can't remember. Let's see. 60. Yeah, I did. Apprehension. Let's be apprehensive for a minute. Okay, let's try and look at the camera. Nope. Great. Lots of red blocks. Oh my god, the red blocks. Okay, and lots of power connections as well, so you need to like... Cut stuff off and build stuff on over and over. This is a lone red block right here, which only goes to... What? Oh, above it. Ah. Oh. Oh, you can compress it to three vertical levels and then all these horizontal ones. Okay. I see. So I'm guessing we're, we're starting here, right? Yeah, so I can just like walk out and have a look around the physical world. Holy crap, even this level is like awful in frame rate. At least it's only the last sector that's been terrible. Oh man, that's a shame. Holy fuck, I... Jesus Christ, that actually made me jump. I thought... Like, I'm not used to it, so I thought it was, like, glass. You Oh, you can see through it, but you can walk on it. Nope. Can't walk on it. It's not glass. It's ghost. This is ghost block. So, yeah, we can combine all of these possible things. Can I jump up and touch this? No, not quite. I can cut those off if I want to. But I cannot cut off these until I'm higher up. Not lower down, because there is no lower down. Oh my god. No. So, this bend can only be performed when you're upstairs, somehow. And this bend can only be performed when you're downstairs. And this whole thing cannot be uh, bent together at all, as far as I can see. So... Where is the key block? That's the one question I want to answer. I'm assuming it's, like, up top. Holy shit, it's so bad. God. Massive slowdown. Oh. Oh. Sneaky. Oh, sneakier. Sneakier. Hold on, where is that? Wait, I lost it. There. Oh, so it's, like, out in the open. Wait, no, no, Dev, Dev, come on, Dev, come on, you, Dev, please, you should have tested this, I just need to jump earlier. Oh man, it's another level that you can completely break by just doing that, and then we get the key block, 
and I don't even know what you're like meant to try and do because yeah that's just so oh right and then you get up here I see so you're meant to like drop down somehow onto here get up here and then you flip out and escape that way but you can just take it and then jump back and there you go level complete in one action pretty much but for the sake of it, let's try and solve it the way that he wants you to solve it. Oh man, this does look very complicated though, so... I don't even see, like, what step one is. I'm assuming step one is get this to be materialized, but I don't even know what that would help. Because if I have this materialized, this is gonna hurt. Okay, no, it's fine. If I have this materialized, I can't do anything. Unless I bend, ah, unless I bend together, I see, so I'm like, maybe I'm not dropping down, maybe I'm bending together like this one and this one to narrow this gap so you can jump across, but then also keep it powered, so we're, we're making like a little jumping, jumping course, but we need to make sure that everything is powered that wants to be powered or needs to be powered. So that is powered now, and once again, I can jump that, and this could be maybe put together again, let's see. Oh boy. I wonder if anything else, like, affects the, the frame rate, I don't think so. Also, hold on, I'm actually kind of curious, what happens, oh, actually the frame rate is good now that I've, like, cut the level in half. So it is definitely just based on how many blocks there are, which is strange. Oh, can I? Hold on. I need to test this. No, okay. You cannot unbend while you're in the air. You have to be on the ground. So you can't do some crazy maneuvers where you like jump and then unbend in the air and land there and stuff like that. Good to know. Once again, you could just jump here if you wanted to as well, if you power it on. Um, so maybe that bend is wrong. What about here? That doesn't do anything. Guess I'll just kind of try a bunch of bends and see what they do. I'm wondering if you need to do multiple... multiple bends... to get the right configuration, or if it's just like one single one that is the miracle bend that solves all your problems. But yeah, oh god, now that I have, like, the whole level again. Okay, worms actually don't even do that much here, because it's already so bad that the worms don't seem to do any harm, but I'll still just keep them off. Lots of power blocks here as well, so it's, like, impossible to cut off all the connections. Makes sense. This is such a detour, just, like... If you just wanted to beat this game, you could be done with it so quickly. But I am a good little boy, and I play the games the way they're meant to be played. Usually. After I break them, of course. Because that's the important part. Huh. So that didn't do anything. What about the entire thing? Probably nothing. That's just gonna cut everything off. So it won't be useful. Yeah, it's just one wide now. You have a little hole. And then I did those two, and now we tried these two. Oh! Hey, that's pretty cool. Wait! Is that it? That's the miracle bend. Then we just unbend. Yeah, that's the miracle bend. It is very simple, so instead of having you do, like, four different bends, or like, four bends to create one single configuration, you just do a single bend, you just have to find it, which one is the, the right one. And then we save, and now we are upside down, so now I could remove the entire floor, but I don't know what for. A little rhyme there for you.
So what is the the purpose? What is my purpose here? I can just jump up here if I wanted to, and then jump all... Okay. Actually couldn't do that because of the... The thing I hit my head on, the power line. And does the checkpoint work? The checkpoint does work. Great. I love when checkpoints actually work. And they don't break everything. So... Do we have... Yeah, okay, I was thinking. We have access to all of these bends again when we're upside down. So that's the challenge now. Find a way to bend something that helps. So we'll just start testing them one by one again. Because might as well. So that's not really anything. Yeah, start with the smallest possible step, and then we'll create more and more intricate ones. Hold on, can't I just like... Can I just walk around? No, not quite. Can't I just open this up by doing something like this? I know I'm, like, combining bends now, and that's probably not a good idea. No, that just unpowered it. Hey, that did something. Okay, hold on. So, unbend, unbend, and let's do this one. Now we can do that, and we can drop down. Yeah. Okay. So is that it, then? Yeah. That... Oh, no it's not. Of course not. But now, we can flip down again. And yeah, that is it. Now we're done. Okay. Not a very complicated level, because again, you only need to think in like, one degree of complexity at a time. You only need to think which is the right bend, not... Which sequence of bends is the right sequence, which would make things a lot more complicated. So, pretty simple stuff, honestly. But my way of just jumping across three blocks is far simpler. 61. My memory was haunting me. It was as if I had seen that place before. Is it gonna be like an old level? Ah, I have seen this place before. Yep. But there are no red blocks now. We have to place them ourselves. And, oh man, I really want to test something now. Did you only need three red blocks in this entire... No, I don't think you needed three red blocks. I think you needed more. Because I was thinking maybe you could jump back to the previous level where this happened. And then just like place the red blocks in the correct locations. That would be awesome. But I don't think that's correct. So how do we do this? I mean, like, can't I just place, to get the key, um, I'm curious, can't I just do, like, place this here? Wait, no, no, no. I guess that's fine. No, it's not fine. Goodbye. Place it here instead? Wait, is that exactly what I did? No, I need to be one more over. Okay. So that doesn't work. Well, I guess I could do... If I want to be cheeky. That. And that. Oh no. No, I did it wrong now, because I need this to be one block up. Or it's gonna crush me, and that doesn't work. I'm just gonna jump down here and just check. If I combine these together, that would make it so that I could jump up to the block, but I need to be up there, which I guess if, if the bottom block was one block up, that wouldn't be possible. And we need to think about getting to the exit as well. I could spend all three red blocks getting the key, but then we can't get to the, the exit. Ah, of course, so we need to take both into account, I suppose. We have to have a way of combining 
one bend from somewhere in the center here over to the exit to get to the exit and then one bend in the middle towards the key block to get the key block but how hmm I am very tempted to just run to the previous level and just check. Um... What about like here? There? And then you can't really... No. Okay. This does not really work. No. Not like that. God damn it. This just seems kind of like trial and error. It's a bit hard to think what you actually have to do. You just kind of have to test things and see what happens. It's there. I didn't really want it to be there. Can't even do that. Because, yeah, bending that together does not take the key block down far enough, so it doesn't matter. Hmm. If we could get up here, we could of course bend them together, but that's the problem. Where does this go? Can I see? I wish you could just like... Yeah, I wish you could trigger it so you would get the lines, and then you could just see where you need to place something. So, what if we place it... ...here? Then it needs to be on the opposite side. Should be manageable? Nope, because it's in the fucking hole! God damn. Yeah. So far, I mean... There's probably some way you could think, just figure this out, but I, I feel like it's a bit cheap and just tedious. So I would want to place it here instead. Wait, what? Oh yeah, yeah, like that. But that's probably not even it, but we'll see. I don't know if you're meant to be able to jump that, but, oh man. This seems to work. Yeah, got the key block like that. And then let's uh, stay up here, I suppose. So now, where could I place this to have it line up? Hold on. Huh. What about down here? No, nothing. I think I'm kind of on the right track, so you need to combine this down, and then you somehow need to combine it across as well. Yeah, I can't say I'm a fan of this level. I might do some cutting, actually, because this is just trial and error. I'm just, like, trying what works, and that's kind of boring to watch, and it's boring to do, so... I might just, like, see if I can figure something out. Ah. Uh, yeah, this this is just tedious. It, it doesn't... It's not hard to figure out. It's just tedious to try and, to, like, see... I don't know. Excuses, I suppose. But, really, not a fan. Not a fan at all. Hmm, there. Might be onto something now. Probably not, though. I guess, okay, wait, I have an idea. I have an idea. Maybe I won't even need to cut. This just isn't working. I'm gonna call it here for now and try more next time. I'm thinking between this and next time, I'm gonna go back and just check the normal level just to see is it possible to complete the normal level in three blocks, and if so, where would they be placed? 
I'm just gonna check it out and then come back here and I'm probably just keep doing the trial and error stuff. Just... I understand what I want to have happen, but it's like almost impossible to see the perfect triangulated location of all three red blocks that make it so that you can compress it enough vertically, but also enough horizontally. It's just... I really dislike this map so far. This is probably the worst designed one out of all of them, in my opinion. But I'm sure there's just something I'm not seeing or whatever. But we'll see next time. Bit of a sour note at the end, but thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you then. Bye-bye!